So Asit, well, welcome to this debriefing session and uh, congratulations on scoring a, a, a 770, you know, a, you know, huge jump in on, on GMAT Verbal, you know, V32 to V44. So how does it feel? It feels really good, Rajat. Okay. Thank you for the, thank you for everything. <laughs> All right, that's, 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 that's good. So I think let's talk about, so you took the GMAT prior, you scored a 690 with a Q50 and a V32. So how did you prepare at that uh, in, for your first attempt? So uh, initially, I actually just went through the uh, GMAT uh, verbal and GMAT OG. Uh, and uh, for maths also, maths was relatively easy. So I, I finished it up in a week or two. And uh, for the rest of the time, I was just uh, trying to solve the uh, verbal. But but I didn't, didn't really understand uh, why uh, something was wrong. Even though the answer was given, it, it, I didn't have the knowledge base to understand that answer, right? So uh, I just kind of flung, I guess. So you finished both the, the official guide and the verbal review. And yeah, then yeah. you said, let me just go take the test. And you, you got a 690 over there. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and so, uh, and you're someone who's so smart. You're a, a bitsy and you, uh, you, you are from the Goa campus. So uh, I like to think so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, you are. I mean, we, we visited the Goa campus in January. I don't know if, if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Payanam was there, right? In, in, yes. Uh, for for uh, uh, the alumni. EGM. Yeah, for the Blitz, Blitz yeah. Global. Yes. So, yeah. so, 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 yeah. so, so, so then you then started using the EGMAT course and you had a chat with Manas. So when you had a chat with Manas, what did you, what was your biggest takeaway from that? Uh, the biggest takeaway was like, uh, in maths, I have a solid uh, knowledge base, right? Mm -hmm. Upon which I can work. But in verbal, I didn't have those those solid knowledge base. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't know which was right. I didn't know the logic. I didn't know uh, where the should come, where where it shouldn't, where where we should use, uh, you know, different type of sentence correction rules where we shouldn't. So the, uh, Manas uh, actually impressed upon that that you are you have eighty percent of the knowledge, but you don't have that finishing touch. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I needed that knowledge base to get that finish touch. Okay. And, and, and so then you started going through the course. So, so you started using the OG before, and then you started going through the course. So what was the difference? Uh, difference was uh, in the OG, they have just mentioned, uh, like, uh, let's say somewhere the modifier is wrong. Mm -hmm. So they, they just have given that the modifier is wrong, but I don't know what a modifier is, where it should be placed, how it should be used. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, that lagged in the uh, GMAT, uh, OG GMAT and verbal review. But, but uh, in, in uh, eGMAT courses, uh, mm -hmm. every, every question was uh, explained very nicely. Like uh, this, this, this answer is wrong because mm -hmm. of this. And since I had learned all the rules before, before going to solve a question, mm -hmm. I, I, I could understand those answers. Like, yeah, this is, this is where my thinking is getting wrong mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, so that, that, helped, a lot. that helped a lot. Okay. Uh, now, before you went through, let's talk about just, let, we can talk section by section. So let's talk about this intense correction piece first, then we'll go into critical reasoning and then reading our brain. So, so before going through this intense correction course, did you use the, the meaning-based approach to solve SC questions? Not as much, uh, not as much. Okay. But, but when, I, when, I, when, I, when I use the rules, right, so I could understand, like, even if, if even if my logic is saying that this is right, uh, mm. uh, grammatically uh, it's not right. Mm. And yeah, so I, I could I could uh, then then see why the meaning is wrong. Okay, um, and and so I also see I'm actually looking at your course right now, and um, and 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 so you already had a good foundation, but you still went through the entire SC course. Uh, why was it? So, I mean, how did it feel like as, as you were, I mean, this is where your course is and, and I see that you pretty much you've done everything. It says a hundred percent not started. Uh, so, or rather zero percent not started, I'm sorry, or a hundred percent completed and really good scores. So, I mean, how did you feel when you went through this or, or why did you go through this when you could have just done the application files? Uh, I actually like, uh, Jim, I, I, I had seen some of the, uh, application uh, reviews hmm. and there I, I, uh, I understood that GMAT actually takes uh, a, a big share of importance in your application review, right? Hmm. So, so I, I didn't want to leave any corner untouched, uh, any stone unturned. Hmm. So uh, I, I wanted to go all in. 
Okay. I had the time. I I had. I don't have a job right now, so I, I can just just push my work be, behind. You're a student. You're a student. Yes. So. No, Are actually, you... I graduated. I oh. graduated. When did you graduate? I graduated early uh, in December. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you had that time. You said I have the time. I have one month. Let me just go through this. And yeah, go yeah. through it completely, and 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 so was it enjoyable going through the course? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because because I was able to understand, right? The things get boring when you are not able to understand. Okay, okay. So then, so let's talk about critical reasoning. So how did uh, your approach change in critical reasoning? The the falsification, uh, the whole process of falsification scenario and everything, it helped a lot actually. Uh, the first uh, before before learning those methods, I actually used to just go through the answers, see where it is going wrong, mm-hmm. and there was no defined process which I had to use. But, okay. but but the falsification method helped me to clear out my thinking. Okay, it helped you clear get to the answer with a yeah. lot more confidence. Yeah, okay. yeah. The pre-thinking and, helped a lot too. Okay, um, yeah. and and then in in as you went to reading comprehension, how did things change overall or? Or did your approach change at all? Uh, no, uh, like uh, before starting any, uh, before starting the whole verbal section, I actually went through the master comprehension. Okay. So, so uh, when I started SCI, I, I started using those those rules with all the questions, and uh, like if if you see uh, if you do uh, CR before going to RC, mm-hmm. for, in my case at least it helped a lot because. Uh, 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 for me, RC just seemed like a big CR question. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm. So, so uh, since I already went to CR and I did master comprehension, uh, uh, RC wasn't much of uh, much of a problem for me. Okay, that that's good, and that's that's how it's supposed to be. By the way, if you do master comprehension, if you do CR, RC should just be an extension. And by the way, those passages seem easier because in 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 CR, you've got to focus way more on the logic. Then, then you have to do an RC. So, so this is just longer. And if you have good ability to comprehend, then then RC should should seem very simple. Yeah, so, yeah. so you took the online GMAT as well. So, yeah. so, so how? First of all, uh, uh, and and we were talking about it earlier, and you mentioned that the online GMAT experience wasn't super different for you. Yeah. So, yeah. And 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 you said, hey, you don't use you didn't use a scratch pad a whole lot. Uh, yeah. and, and, and and you didn't have to use it a whole lot on the online GMAT. Yeah, yeah. And um, and either in quant or verbal either. So so and you so in terms of from a technology standpoint, how was that experience? It was good. Like uh, I uh, uh, if I think that uh, week or two's practice on on um, hmm. whiteboard is more than enough. Yeah, you just need to get used to it. If, if your typing speed is good, it doesn't make much of a difference. So, so which tools in the whiteboard did you use? So which which are, which were your your pet tools? Uh, I use most mostly that word box. The text word box. box. Text box. Yeah. Okay. You would type things out and and other things. Yeah, yeah. Did you kind of look at okay how could you express an equation in quant and because you have a Q fifty one. Uh, actually, uh, the the main problem came when uh, uh, when we had to put square root and everything, right? Mm. You cannot you cannot type it out. Yes. So I, I just I just I just started using uh, small abbreviations for square root. I used RT. Oh, for that's cube root, I used CT, and oh. and I just used to write everything in the bracket, and okay. it it went well. Like uh, if I had to write something in fraction where where we have a numerator then a denominator. I used to just write the numerator and denominator differently, mm-hmm. and then I just use the line line method to draw a line to, you know, mm-hmm. give me the feeling of. Okay, that's good, that's good, and that's 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 really useful, uh, to know. And you took the online GMAT from the comfort of your house. Yeah, and the so comfort how, of the house makes a huge difference. It it makes a huge difference. Tell me how. So I mean, you in center GMAT, which was the first attempt versus the online GMAT. Uh, like I don't know how to express it, but when you are at home, you eat eat the food you like. Everybody is trying to care up for you. Mm-hmm. The the mind is at relaxed mode, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have uh, for taking the uh, in center GMAT, I had to go to a different city. 
mm-hmm. a day before mm-hmm. i had to sleep there i had to find the host- hotels and everything i had to order my own mm-hmm. food i don't know how the food is so unknowingly unconsciously it, it does make a, i i think it does make a difference on your performance it does and i think you have your own computer when you are at home yeah yeah a machine yeah. you familiar with yeah yeah Okay. Now you also have. You were talking about the internet connection. You also have a fairly good connection. You have a geo fiber connection to your house. It's a fairly strong connection. But how did you connect your computer to the internet? Is it Wi-Fi or is it yeah. wide Ethernet? Through Wi-Fi. Through, through Wi-Fi. It's also nothing special the way you do it regularly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you did get disconnected once during the entire te- exam. Yeah, but it wasn't a network issue. It it uh, it the it was the software issue on the GMAX side. So I, I think that's kind of go one one other important question. So how long did was your entire test? Let's talk about that. Uh, it was it, it was around uh, around two and a half hours, I guess two and a half hours and or two hours forty five minutes. So it didn't ex- get extended a whole lot. I mean, it was no, no, no. it was fairly smooth. Oh, yeah. It wasn't that as if you were spending crazy six hours or four hours on it. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Okay. And and in general, how was the interaction with the the online proctor? Uh, there was there were two times the proctor actually uh, uh, kind of. Uh, Pinged you. Tokna, 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 Tokna. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, bothered you? Let's call it bothered you or pointed <laughs> some things out. Yeah, yeah. Huh. so there were only two times she pointed out. One was uh, I have a habit of keeping my hand on my face like this. Mm-hmm. So she said, like, remove remove your hand from your mouth, and uh, uh, I uh, like I, I yawn sometimes. So mm-hmm. I, I go outside the, uh, the camera, uh, the purview of the camera. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So she said, like, try to keep your face inside the uh, camera. Did you and still? Any- did you still yawn? Yeah, obviously I did yawn, but in the front of the camera. Okay, in front of the camera. Okay. Yeah. And and and, and so, um, are you at the same place where you took the test? Uh, no, this is this is the ground floor of my home. Uh, okay. I took the test on the first floor. What kind of changes did you have to make to to make sure that you know to set it up for the online GMAT? So I asked all my family members to keep the volume down of the TV, talk talk slowly. To talk. The but what about set, set in the setup of the room? Did you have to really achha, achha. things? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for uh, the, so the, I have a table on the first floor, so I just removed everything from the first floor. Uh, the, when the test starts, uh, uh, she'll ask you for the identification, and everything, hmm. and uh, once before starting, she'll ask you to take the webcam and uh, like give a scan of your uh, uh, desk, so so that so she can make sure that there isn't anything on the desk. Hmm. Okay, so that's that was it. So you just do the the, the scan using the laptop's webcam. The, the yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's really good to know. Um, anything you want to tell people about? I mean, you went from a V thirty two to a V forty four. So if you uh, uh, you want to tell people about, hey, how, how should they think about preparing for for GMAT, either quant or verbal? So I uh, so I believe in repetition, like. Until until some some rule gets ingrained in your brain, right? You you need to practice again and again. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, the thing that helped me was once I learned all the rules, right? In the in the uh, sentence correction, they they have these small tests which, with each and every explanation, right? So uh, when I went uh, when I went wrong, I used to take a photo of that screen, mm-hmm. and and with all the explanation, you have those little. A little bit written boxes also, right? Which yes. means why why you yeah why you went wrong. Yes. So I, I used to used to uh, take picture of of those screens. I used to take the picture of somebody's screens so that I can I can I can try to uh, think of the examples where where those rules were used. And whenever I was free, whenever I was like going through my phone, I just used to look look at those summary slides and where I went wrong. So just just to just to kind of remind me what the rules are, how they have to be used. So it's it's basically personalized repetition. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. One of the things which I, I saw, which was, which was there, was I mean, uh, so you you use Colorinium as well. How was that experience? I think it was good. It was good. It was pretty good. Like I could I could uh, uh, 
I could uh, uh, make a custom quiz according to my abilities. If I wanted more hard questions, hard SC questions, I could I could do those. I could again where I went wrong, I I could um, take a picture of those mm-hmm. those questions just to get, get get something ingrained in my mind. Sometimes it's it's a little it's a little it's the little things which make the difference, right? Oh, they make a huge difference, especially when it's seven seventy. I mean, one question here or there, it could, yeah. could, could, it starts to make a difference over there. So, so. yeah, you have a habit. You, I, I mean. I, I I do I do have that habit of sometimes skipping over things. So I, I try to I try to uh, take take uh, take the notes of where I went wrong. Even if even if the even if the the point is small, but I try to take those notes. I think it's one of the things which is there. It's, it's not so much uh, 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 what what you weak in that matters. It's a, what matters really is what what you do about it in your case you you actually said okay i have this habit of forgetting things or or, or and so i'm going to just take notes and and see if i can revise them and, and you were i mean that's the dedication that you showed is, is what made the difference overall Thank you. so one of the other things i want to point out which was which is something that i've seen consistently i mean we've talked about sentence correction really good scores um, when i look at uh, your critical reasoning again uh, you know, good scores in concept and practice quizzes, uh, as well as in reading comprehension. Now, because you did really well over here, when I go and look at your scholaranium, uh, I, I kind of noticed two things. One is, you know, good percentiles over here. Let's let this go back. Good percentiles over here. Okay, so I mean, in ability quizzes. But the other thing is, you didn't solve very many questions here. I'm yeah, really... actually, actually, the time, time, uh, the time wasn't much. I started using Scholarium uh, in the last four or five days before but, the exam. But, I mean, even the, even though you have just five days, you were still able to get to that ninety fourth percentile ability over here. No, and... those weren't changing actually. Those were for 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 the uh, uh, I, oh, the mock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah, those weren't changing. Uh, mm-hmm. Whatever I did. But I mean, when I look at this medium and hard over there, still, I mean, good accuracy scores in, in hard, in SCCR and RC. So these are very, very good numbers when I look at hard questions uh, overall. And I looked at your attempts as well. And, you know, you took the exam on 22nd, right? Or 23rd? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, 22nd, uh, 22nd. So, so I'm, overall, I mean, pretty good scores. Cementing quizzes, 90%, 90%, and hard. I, 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 uh, but here again, hard. You were able to get to a ninety percent over here, which I think is is fairly good. So, uh, so I mean, essentially, you did a fairly decent job with regards to this. So, did you write to the team to say when should what should I do after I finish this? Uh, no, actually, they they did send me a uh, send me a uh, mail before only. Okay. Like uh, go do the uh, cementing quiz, uh, try to get uh, up to uh, more than seventy percent yes, yeah. in medium quizzes and more than fifty percent in hard quizzes. Hmm. So so I just tried on uh, that thing only, but because I didn't have much time right at the end. Uh, hmm. When do when will I write? When will I reply back? Hmm. Yes. So, yeah. so that's good. So that's good. I mean, you followed that, and that's the other piece where you took something you remembered and you followed it, just like you took the summary notes overall. So, so that's good to know. So I know you've applied to, to various schools and, and um, we'll publish this interview once you, you, you hear from them. Um, yeah. So, so uh, but good luck for that. Thank uh, you, thank you. And, and, and so when, when do you expect to hear from these schools? Uh, the results will start coming till the, uh, by the mid of July and they'll go on coming till the end of July. The interviews will start coming in a week or two, two hmm. weeks up till the end of June. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you would know about the interview status by 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 end of June overall. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I'm gonna. Uh, what what I will do is uh, let me stop recording.